Happening tonight, an emergency push to repeal the gas tax increase that Jacksonville City Council passed earlier this year. The vote comes less than three weeks before that tax is expected, expected to take effect. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. And Ashley, this would save drivers some money when many are already feeling the pain at the pump. They certainly are. Bruce and Jennifer, good morning to you both. Yes, city leaders voted to double Jacksonville's gas tax from six cents to 12 cents. You remember they did that back in May, so that would take effect January 1st. Now, you see our car, what we have here is an SUV, but if you were driving a midsize sedan, that's about a dollar extra if you're filling up a 16, 16 gallon gas tank. But people we spoke with say they're already paying enough for gas. Even though gas prices appear to be dropping, some Jacksonville drivers say they are still feeling the pinch at the pump. How much would you say you spend per month, probably? If you were to put a number on it. Well, I fill up uh, probably three times a month, and I would probably 150 bucks. You got to depend on if you're going to pay your rent, you're going to buy food, are you going to take care of your kids, are you going to have transportation to go to work. It's, it's rough now. That's why Councilwoman Leanna Cumber introduced a bill to repeal it. If we have to raise taxes, then we need to make sure that we're doing it as a last resort. Cumber says the gas tax will make people's lives more expensive, but also believes if there's a real emergency in the years to come, like a hurricane, the city's hands will be tied. So it's essentially like getting a new credit card, maxing out that credit card, and then saying, don't worry, I'm going to pay for it over the next 30 years. You have no more ability to use that credit card in an emergency. Cumber also points to money we should be receiving as part of the federal government's trillion dollar infrastructure plan. Mayor Lenny Curry supported the gas tax hike. Friday, he told News for Jacks he is sticking with the plan. Uh, keep our promises. Um, so we're going to, we're going to, follow through on our policies that we have here in Jacksonville and um, continue to do uh, infrastructure work. And get this, another city council member, Garrett Dennis, has a different idea. He wants to delay the gas tax increase by six months, and he has also filed legislation. So if tonight's emergency measure fails, the council will not revisit it again until next year. Of course, we'll keep you updated. Live downtown, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.